Hi, it's uh, the 11th of um, February today and just a little bit more about the uh, Eastleigh by-election which is being fought because the standing uh, Liberal Democrat MP uh, was forced to resign after uh, admitting perjury and um, uh, perverting the course of justice. Uh, he will be going to prison probably quite soon. Uh, he won't be the first uh, or the member of the only political party. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a bit more about this meeting I went to last night. We heard four excellent presentations, two names have gone forward. We will have a candidate by this time tomorrow morning. Either of the two will be good, it's one I have a preference for, we'll see. Um, yeah, I said in the first uh, broadcast I put up about this that um, the UKIP was perhaps not very well organised. Well, I'll take that back, I will take that back. We're smaller, we're less well funded, we're less well established than any of the other uh, main political parties, but... I saw evidence of very good organisation last night. There is a team, there's a permanent team of people who UKIP manages uh, to come in and do by-elections and they've been very successful. We've, we've seen up to 22% of the vote in some of the by-elections, which are Westminster by-elections, which have been held. And we're obviously taking nothing for granted, but we're hoping to do that. We're standing at 13% of the vote in local polls. Uh, we're hoping that that will be a lot higher, and uh, certainly in the 20s by the end of next week. We heard a lot uh, about the, the different political parties. The Liberal Democrats, it's generally thought they're very strong locally, um, but it's thought they're probably a little bit discouraged, and it may be a bit difficult to get people to vote for them when the Liberal Democrat MP has just had so much of unpleasant material about his uh, private life and above all the fact that he was a persistent, skilled and barefaced liar. Uh, so of course they're saying, oh it was just him, you know, uh, vote for us still, vote for the same party. But it, it seems quite likely that the Liberal Democrat vote may not hold up very well. Labour traditionally take third place in Eastleigh and in fact um, it's a major part of the uh, Liberal Democrats um, polling. They say, oh, it's so close here, they say, uh, that it's it generally it's considered to be a two-way marginal between Conservatives and um, Liberal Democrats. Um, so the Liberal Democrat vote may well collapse. Does that mean the Conservatives will win? Well, they are the favourites, perhaps, to win. Maybe, maybe not. Um, on the other hand, a lot of people are quite unhappy with David Cameron's performance since he's been in power. He hasn't really governed as a Conservative, he's really governed as a Liberal. And um, one of the key touchstone issues about that has been uh, his um, attempt to get same-sex marriage on the statute book. Now this was a question that was raised by one of the questioners yesterday and asked all four candidates. Uh, all four of them said that they were against same-sex marriage. And it's interesting, I mean, I'm a Christian, as it happens, UKIP is, is a secular party, and I'm, I'm quite happy about that. And none of the four uh, candidates, as they responded, said that they were Christians. One or two made it quite clear that they were not. And, you know, in a plural, secularist democracy, that's the way things are. But uh, a couple of them said that they felt that ramming this through Parliament without a mandate without a popular mandate, without it having been in the manifesto at all. It's come from David Cameron. He has gone out to uh, change the definition of marriage, which uh, predates the church, predates Parliament. Um, it goes back in, in time as far as you can. And they want to change this without having given very good reasons. Um, but anyhow, the four candidates uh, said that they, didn't, they were all against it because they felt it was messing with something that did not need to be messed with. It could have... Un unseen consequences and above all it would amount to the it would end up regardless of the um, uh, uh, guarantees which have been given that the churches wouldn't be fiddled with um, probably as, as valuable as the guarantee that David Cameron gave cast iron guarantee he said that we would out of a vote on the Lisbon Treaty as soon as he was in a position to give us a vote in the Lisbon Treaty he backed off he used some form of words to make it out that it was excusable so he broke his promise on that so why should we trust him on this um, and it was felt that the state should not be interfering in people's private consciences, the state should not be interfering with the church. One of the candidates, um, the lady one, whose name, first name is Diana, I forget her surname, we'll note by tomorrow, um, uh, said that she had worked with Elton John and various other homosexual people in an AIDS charity. And she had no problem with them. Uh, UK Independence Party policy is to be fully accepting of same-sex 
civil partnerships, but to say we do not need to change the definition of marriage, and if we do it could have numerous uh, unintended consequences. So, on that particular issue, <coughs> uh, the UK Independence Party policy is that we do not need a change in the law to redefine marriage. And uh, the UK Independence Party is the only party that takes that view, which uh, some, a lot of Conservatives are really unhappy about David Cameron going forward with this. So the Liberal Democrats they have just had a candidate who is going to prison, uh, and deservedly so. Uh, and um, Conservatives, are maybe their support is wavering because a huge number of Conservatives do not see why the leader of the Conservative Party has made a decision to... Uh, irrevocably change the definition of marriage with various unintended consequences which could include um, teachers being sacked for refusing to teach the new politically correct version of marriage and churches being uh, sued perhaps by the European court, perhaps in the European court with British taxpayer money to force uh, them to carry out marriages which they don't believe are uh, acceptable before God which is, could be an interference in people's freedom of, of belief and it seems quite likely also that um, uh, changing the status of marriage could mess with the British Constitution, whereby the, the monarch is the head of state and also uh, the Supreme Governor of the Church of England. So anyway, UKIP has a problem with same-sex marriage. Liberal Democrats, Conservative and Labour are all in favour of it. Uh, but a lot of Conservatives are not very keen on it. And so they might not be so willing to turn out to vote Conservative. So... Labour always come third in Eastleigh. Liberal Democrats have got a big problem because of Chris Hoon. Um, the Conservatives may not be able to get their vote out quite so well after uh, David Cameron's recent performance. Hey, UKIP has got everything to play for. They've got everything to play for. We could win this election and make history. I'll say a bit more tomorrow.